Muzex, Muzex, Moim Software engineers looking to switch to sales engineering often ask me what do they need to know in order to be considered for this job. If you don't know what a sales engineer does, make sure you watch my video on that topic. There's tons of questions and answers online about the differences between sales engineering and software engineering. And as someone who has done the switch myself, I'm going to give you my perspective in this video. It's probably not going to be what you're expecting, so stay tuned different types of stress not more or less stress just different in software engineering it takes months if not years to release a product to have your work cut out for you for weeks if not months in advance in sales engineering however things are happening much more dynamically we are working with customers who each have their own timelines that we don't control. Today you are working on a POC for a customer, tomorrow you're jumping on a call to do a demo for a prospect, and the day after you're working on debugging some issues with a customer who's already using your product in production. See? Different types of stress. Hey there, you're watching Better Pre-Sales with Sasha, that's me. I'm a senior sales engineer working for a leading cloud software company and I make these videos in spare time in order to help others become better sales engineers. And you can help others too by liking this video and subscribing to my channel. As sales engineers, we are juggling between multiple tasks all the time and it's super important to actively manage those stress levels in this high-paced occupation. If you can take the stress out of the equation, this is really a dream job. On the other hand, not being able to actively manage stress makes this job not so much fun. I've seen co-workers go through work-related burnouts and taking months of work to regain their mental and physical balance. For me personally, the best way to manage work-related stress is this one. Oh wait, that's for another channel. I wanted to say this one. Specifically, that means that I always try to have focus time in my calendar. Usually several small one to two hour blocks spread throughout the week. This is the time when I shut down emails and all other communication channels and focus on things I want to get done. If I'm working on a PC for a customer, I block time so that I can do the actual work. If I need to prep for a meeting with a customer, I block time for that too. By the way, did you watch my video on how to conduct great demos? There's a lot about prepping, so make sure you go back and watch it. Essentially, I have those calendar entries for anything that I do. And this gives me two things. Number one, it gives me a feeling that I'm in control of my own time. Since my time and my work are at least partially planned ahead, so there is not much room for surprises. Number two, it helps my coworkers know when exactly is the best time to talk to me by just looking into my calendar. This is just one technique I use to manage my stress levels. It's not the only one, but it's probably the most important one. What do you do for stress management? Let me know in the comments below the video. As a software engineer, you're part of a development team, like a scrum team. So people you mostly talk to are your fellow developers, QA people, analysts, software architects. And these people are probably on a similar technical level like you are. So you can discuss your work with them on your own terms, using your own words. In sales engineering, you're moving in many different circles, but they're not as technical as you are. So you will be forced to talk about product features on their own terms so that they can understand you. It doesn't stop here. You're talking to product marketing, field marketing, executives, probably also with people who are more technically skilled than yourself, for instance, like software engineers that develop the product that you're selling. And it's the same very rich palette of people that you're going to be talking to on the customer side. You get the idea, right? Team versus individual work. As a software engineer, the work is mostly cut out for your team and you're actively collaborating with your coworkers to bring out those new features or fix those product issues. The sales engineering work is more individual. There are times when you are working with your fellow SEs on a customer POC or a custom demo, 
but most of the time you're on your own. You're on your own building and running those demos, enabling and guiding customers and generally working with them throughout their customer journey with your product. If you feel comfortable setting your own pace and making those decisions mostly yourself on how you're conducting your work, this role is a great fit for you. If you prefer your work to be cut out for you and you work better in teams, this role, sales engineering role, might feel too lonely for you and you might be overwhelmed by a number of decisions you need to be making all the time. What about the differences in technical skills? All the differences that I was talking about so far are soft skills or non-technical skills. And this might come as a surprise to you. To work as a sales engineer, you don't necessarily need to have a technical or engineering background, but a lot of sales engineers do come from software development or from consulting project work. Sales engineers probably spend less than 20% of their time doing the actual hardcore technical work like coding. Most of the time we work on customizing slide decks, customizing demos, running demos, interacting with coworkers and customers in many different ways. In the software development world, the situation is vice versa. Work life revolves around coding mostly, and that communication overhead is reduced to the minimum so that the software engineers can be at their most productive mode of work. What did you think of this video? Click on like and subscribe to my channel, Better Pre-Sales with Sasha, for more content like this. Stay healthy and stay tuned.